India's stalwart Mithali Raj decided to call time on a career on the 9th of June after 23 years of service to the national team. My colleague Preeti Chaudhary exclusively spoke to Mithali. Listen in. I'm a big fan and I have to say uh, for someone, not so much of cricket, but for uh, someone who watched you crack the glass ceiling where cricket in India is concerned and the women, uh, the role that women play in it. You've been that catalyst for so many women out there and I want to begin uh, by off the bat, if I can use a cliche, Mitali, to ask you, what's the legacy that you would want to leave behind? No, I think, of, um, you know, starting from an exclusive boys camp where I was the only girl, Today, I'll be leaving a legacy where every camp has minimum of 60 to 100 girls getting to train and play this sport. And uh, I think that is a huge change. Mithali, right before this interview, I was actually looking, uh, you know, um, at your career graph, it's astounding to say the least. Your tally of 10,868 runs being the highest run scorer in women's international cricket. You are the first player to score seven consecutive 50s in ODIs. You do know if it was a male cricketer with such a career graph, with these many achievements, would have been a very, very different career. I wouldn't say now it is an ignored sport. Probably in the 90s it was. But uh, now it is a growing sport, a viable sport. And slowly it is changing from a mature sport to a professional sport. So yes, uh, women's cricket has its journey. Uh, I've been... Uh, very fortunate to see the evolution of women's cricket in our country. Um, but I think I, I only foresee very bright um, uh, future of uh, women's cricket in our, in our, in our country. Ms. Raj, I want to ask you, you have so many achievements uh, where your career graph is concerned. I'm sure you have multiple moments that you know, uh, you know that, uh, and, and you are rather young. I'm, I'm practically the same age as you and I've seen you uh, with your career graph. Uh, you're wrapping up uh, with this career that is so illustrious as yours. Do you have any regrets at all? Um, the only regret would be uh, not uh, winning a World Cup. That could probably be the only regret I see in my entire journey.